Hey guys, welcome to The Soap. We're doing an unboxing today where we'll be unboxing a monitor. My name's Mike, we've got Aaron here as well. And Aaron, take it away. All right, so today we have the Acer K272 HLE widescreen LED monitor. Uh, big fella, 27 inches, so really big monitor. 1920 uh, by 1080 full high definition, as most monitors are these days. Really wide viewing angle on this fella too, so you don't have to get right in close if you're behind someone to look at the monitor. It's got a nice wide viewing angle so you can keep a bit of personal space about you when you are playing something. I'm in my safe zone. Exactly, you can keep in your safe zone. Um, it's got a really, really thin bezel. Uh, Acer call it a zero frame, so it means the border around the edge of the screen Really, really thin, so you can put a couple together and you can have a big gaming setup, multi monitors without too much gap in between the monitors. It's got Aces E color profiles on it as well, which enhance your vibrancy and make colors look better. Uh, it's got comfy view and a blue light filter, making it easier on your eyes, especially in dark rooms. Energy Star compliant, uh, as most monitors are these days. Um, it also has uh, the 16.7 million colours that you come to expect from a full high def monitor. It is LED, so it's nice and bright. Speaking of the brightness, this particular monitor actually has 300 CD uh, slash M squared, or for those playing at home, that's uh, candles per square metre of brightness. Now, so what I mean by that is if this monitor was a square metre, it would actually put out as much light as 300 candles. So it's really bright, just to give you an idea of how bright this monitor is. Uh, your normal monitor that you would have at a PC where you're at work or a shop or whatever where you're doing your word processing is about 80 to 120 candles per square meter. So this fella is really bright, very good, makes things look great. We have two of these, we've actually unboxed one already and we've had it running against our old 22 inch monitors and the difference is amazing. Not only in screen real estate, it's obviously heaps, heaps bigger. Uh, the colours are much brighter, it's more vibrant. We've even managed to uh, pick up a few details on some of the games we've been playing where we didn't see them on the 22 inch monitor. Simply because this fell is so much bigger, you can actually see smaller details and animations and, and really, really get uh, a better view of what's happening on the screen. So you'll see on the screen now some specifications. Please see the comments below to find out more information. Alright, so let's have a look, open this baby up and see what we've got inside. Alright, so you'll need a sharp knife to... Don't cut yourself. Or the monitor. Be very careful <laughs> when you are cutting Don't the do box this. open. Because um, the last thing you want to do is scratch or maim the monitor. Let's have a look, see what thing we are. Okay, that side. Alright, now I'll give you a hand here. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Look, we need, we need the, uh, the cutting tool. We've got some more tape there. There we go. Okay. Alright, so if I hold that, pull. Okay. That's um, lovely. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so. Instructions. We've got some leads here. So DVI, VGA, power. Oh, support. Uh, support. That's, Pillar. That's a support bracket, obviously. Which, and then the base. And then that's the base. Take that off. Okay. Here we have the, the monitor itself. All right, Mike. Do you want to? Yep. Lift that up, we'll get that out of the way. Right. Okay, so to assemble this monitor, apparently we need a flathead screwdriver. So, here's what I've prepared earlier. While Mike's unbagging the actual panel itself, I'll get the, uh, the base out. Here's a bad boy in action. Okay, so the base has a small screw underneath, which will mate up to the... Uh, This fella here. Now I'm assuming we click it on, like so. Just put it in the hole. Ooh, nice. solid click. Also has the Vaser mount on the back, so if you do have monitor stands or on your desk, or you want a multi-monitor um, arm set up, you can simply screw them straight in there. So if you hold that up, I will attach. Now actually, uh, whip it up the other way. There we go. So down your what? Yep, like that. So. We go forward and on there like that, that and then we have the locking screw. And 
voila, there we have it. There's your monitor. As you can see, the bezel is really thin around the edge there, so not losing a great deal of picture when you have another one up beside it. Um, something of note, though, in the box, we didn't actually get a HDMI cable, even though this is a HDMI capable monitor. Uh, possibly because of the prevalence of HDMI cables now, because everyone's tellies comes with HDMI cables, you can get them uh, anywhere. They're fairly cheap. Too. They are very cheap. Uh, we do one little uh, curiosity was it has a VGA cable. Uh, realistically, if you're going to use this monitor for gaming, you're not going to use a VGA cable, but perhaps uh, Asus or Acer rather had a lot of them left over and they're just throwing them in all of their monitors to get rid of them. It's uh, a present for free. Absolutely, but there you have it. The 27-inch uh, Acer uh, 272, oh, the K. 272 HLE monitor. Um, how's the tilt on that actually, Mike? Let's. Uh, can we tilt that at all? No, 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 no. Here. Ah, oh, yes. So, oh, wow. It's got uh, a few degrees of tilt there, so you can certainly get it set up to your specifications on your day table. But uh, as you can see, Mike's a fairly large guy, and, and we're kind of. Uh, Blocking him completely out with this monitor, so you won't. My skeleton here. <laughs> you won't be disappointed here. if you're going to play games on this thing, or even two of them. So there you have I it. I am Mr. Robot. Uh, all right, guys. That's been an unboxing of the uh, Acer 27-inch LED Full HD monitor. Um, we'll pop a link in the description. You can have a look at it, and uh, we'll catch you on our next unboxing video. That's out for me. That's out for me too. See you guys.